around Georgia, Senator John Ossoff is in the Hostess City today to discuss solar power initiatives. WSCV News 3's Brian Ray is joining us with why they say it will be a bright spot in the state's future economy. Tina, good evening. Senator Ossoff was joined by Energy Secretary Jeff, Jennifer Granholm, Savannah Mayor Van Johnson, and multiple industry leaders. They say Georgia is a growing leader of solar and that can lead to more jobs. Industry leaders say today's solar energy makes up just 3% of all electricity in the U.S. The goal is to move that to 30% by 2030. Senator Ossoff has introduced two pieces of legislation, one having to do with the affordability of solar panels on roofs and the other on manufacturing. Officials say there are multiple goals in pushing for solar expansion. It's coastal Georgia that's seeing the more frequent tropical storms, the increased storm surge and coastal flooding. It's coastal Georgia hit hardest by the impacts of climate change. This is about ending pollution. While it used to be that the fossil fuels were the cheapest, solar and wind have now become, in many places, cheaper than, than fossil fuels. And that means a huge opportunity for people to save money. The United States can and should lead the world. Georgia should and can be the United States, and Savannah and coastal Georgia should and can lead Georgia. And we believe that we can make that happen, and we're going to do that by leading, but at the same time, leaving no one behind. Here in Savannah, Mayor Johnson says the city will introduce a pilot program at the end of the month for 22 city buildings to make the switch to clean energy. That includes parking garages, fire and police stations, and the new end market arena. Brian Ray, WSAV News 3, on your side. All right, thanks, Brian.